Hey, it's Brendan from acetennisonline.com. Now, let's talk forehand power and control. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to copy this thing when we're talking about weight transfer and power creation. Now, watch Roger here, which leg he is loading on, which leg his weight is on, and how he's moving through the ball. Okay, so let's watch it one time. Regular motion. Now look how smooth his weight transfer was on that. He's setting. He's loading on his right leg here and on his back leg. Okay, now you can see most of most of his weight right now is on here. But then as he's setting up for that shot, now he's planting that front foot. And now his weight, as he's accelerating the racket, as he's starting to accelerate through his weight is shifting on the front foot. So the weight transfer is going from, he's pushing up with that back leg. He's pushing up, watch, see, up, up. Now you see that weight transfer? He's pushing up into the hips, into the rest of the body. And by the time he's making contact, his entire body has rotated from about 90 degrees facing to the camera here almost, to facing straight ahead to his opponent. So that 90 degree rotation gives him the stability and the power into his shots. So watch again, now he's facing the camera here as he's loading, now as he's accelerating the racket into contact, his dominant shoulder, his racket, and, all, and his chest are facing forward, his hip is almost facing forward. So because of that rotation and that weight transfer forward into the shot, he's able to get that power spin and control, mainly the power and control with this part. Now the spin depends on his racket and that's a different video, but just look at that weight transfer. And as part of that weight transfer, because he's smooth, he's bringing, he's bringing his leg around. Now he started facing the camera and we can see his chest before contact and then we, after counting, now he's facing away from us. So it's almost a 180 degree turn. So he com he turned around completely uh, as part of his shot. Now, that rotation and that weight transfer forward is what's gonna give you the power and control and stability you need for your shots. So I want you to try and practice that as often as you can. When you're hitting, try to get your weight forward, try to transfer your weight into the ball. It's going to give you more control and more power if you have your body weight behind the shot. I see way too many recreational players just trying to swing the rack and their arm and forgetting the weight transfer forward. They're forgetting the coiling and then the uncoiling. So all of that is important to get control, get stability, and get power on your shots. Okay, so use your entire body, push up and out with the legs, which uncoil the hips, um, initiate those shoulders early, and then by the time you're making contact, your body is facing forward and your weight transfer is transferring through the shot. And that gives you the power, stability, and control. So if you like that, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed so already, um, share this video with a friend or a teammate because that's an excellent way to help support this channel. Now, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.